Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Cancer, we are going to be looking at what energy you are working with from the oracle cards this week. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign Cancer because by doing so you get a much deeper reading and if you don't know where your planetary placements are, I have linked in the description box below a website you can go to and input your details and once you've input your details the website will calculate for you your planetary placements and you can then go and watch the relevant signs that are for you so cancer we now have our tarot cards to see what the tarot cards have to say i have two decks of cards so i'm going to work with two decks of cards just to see if there's any repeating messages through repeating cards so let's have a look all right cancer so these are the cards that we have i'm going to just pop these cards we're not using to the side and then we can get started so first of all let's look at the message that we have from the divine and then we will move over to our tarot cards so cancer the message that we have for you is asking you and rather telling you that it is time to release some negativity so that is the message and that's for you to really grasp and understand what that is all about we're going to pop that card to one side and then we're going to move over to our tarot cards and cancer you have a lot of major karma cards this week you have literally this card this one that one and that one the majority of the cards are about major changes in life major life events in life and we are seeing that you are opening up this reading with the seven of cups a card that sees you here making important choices you are being represented with many options and you are in the right energy you are not rushing into anything you are taking things slow, you are really assessing and examining each option that you have and you're seeing what is the best thing for you to do next. Because when we look at the Seven of Cups, it's a card that tells you that not every option that is presented to you is, is a good choice. Some options might look like gold, but when you really look at them closely, it just turns out that it's glitter. So we are seeing you here, weighing things up, the pros and the cons, before you make that decision. And we see that there is something that really is on your mind. Because as you are making a decision, we now have the full card. A card that shows you taking a leap of faith your hopes are high you're excited about starting something new and you are not caring about making sure you've read the small print you have made your decision and this decision feels good to your heart you are understanding that sometimes you just have to go with your intuition you just have to go with your gut instincts you just have to go with the things that make you feel excited. When we look at the full card, it's all about taking that leap of faith. So what are you taking a leap of faith into? Well, maybe you could let us know in the comment section below. Because as you are taking this leap of faith, we now have another major kind of card of the moon and the moon really talks about things that are revealed to us the moon is a really deep and interesting card that deals with our intuition our subconscious minds our dreams so maybe you have been dreaming and getting premonitions through your dreams 
And this is why you are not caring about all the facts. This is why you are taking that leap of faith. Because maybe your dreams have been really nudging and pushing you to make a choice. Nudging and pushing you into a new direction. The moon can speak about really what we feel, our instincts. The moon actually pushes us to follow our instincts, to go with the flow. Because sometimes when we want all the facts, when we want to read all the small prints, we miss out on, on adventures, on excitement. So here, the divine is really saying to you, follow your instincts, your dreams, tap into those because you're going to see that through your dreams, important information is going to be coming up. And so really be keeping a pen and paper by your bed. And before you get up in the morning, just take a moment, write down anything that you remember from your dreams. And then maybe a week, two weeks later, a month later, review your dreams and see if there's any repeating messages that are gonna help you make that choice, make that decision that you are currently being faced with. So we're seeing a wonderful card next. And this wonderful card is one of my favorite cards and one of many tarot readers' favorite card because it is the world card. And the world card speaks about accomplishments. So maybe you have taken a leap of faith and that leap of faith sees you coming full circle because this is the number zero and this is seeing you right at the end of your journey so whatever journey you are going on you're starting on the possibilities are to really feel happy that you made this decision but remember to listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to be guiding you along the way to make sure that this journey, this decision is the right thing for you. The world card, when we really examine it a lot more, talks about balance. It talks about harmony. It talks about really your dreams being realized. So could it be that through your dreams, you are getting those messages and you are following the information that you are receiving and by doing that you end up accomplishing your dreams your hopes and your desires because this is what the world card is all about it's about joy it's about feeling successful it's about completing something successfully this is you feeling happy that you were brave enough to take that leap of faith so this is a major kind of card this is a major kind of card so you are on some type of journey and we're seeing that yep yeah, again we have another card that is speaking about choice that is speaking about making a decision could it be that maybe you want to travel the world in 2021 and you are starting to put plans into place. Maybe you want to immigrate to a different place. This is what the world card could also be speaking about. So it's interesting to see that we have the world card here that speaks about accomplishments. And we see you here making choices, looking out of your window, maybe getting ready to step out of your comfort zone to take that leap of faith. And we are seeing you here as the two of wands really making that decision that is best for you cancer and we're seeing that the world card you have your globe there you have the world the world is literally your oyster at the moment maybe you're planning on taking a road trip and maybe you have just been worrying because the moon card can be about worries can be about fears so maybe you have been planning something for a long time, but with everything that is going on in the world at the moment, this has you questioning everything. This has you questioning whether you should go on this journey. 
but having this card here this is the thumbs up and having you with the world here also this is another confirmation to say that whatever it is that you're planning make that decision don't sit here forever arming and ahhing sometimes you just have to you just have to go for it you figure it out along the way so the next card we have sees you back again taking that moment to pause so i feel that right now in this moment in time here in december you have this energy of the hanged man you are really looking ahead to 2021 and the future and you're wondering what it is the best thing that you should do the hanged man encourages you to take a moment to connect with the divine the hanged man speaks about if you take a moment to connect with the divine the divine will be able to give you some answers and could these answers be coming through your dreams the hanged man is an interesting card because it encourages introspection it encourages you to pause to look at everything but not do anything just yet remember i said here in december it feels like you have this energy of looking at all the options the possibilities and now we see you here as a major kind of card doing the same type of things you're literally flipping your world around and trying to see every option every decision and trying to make sure that you are making the right decision and with the hanged man it is giving you the thumbs up to say yes don't rush into anything just yet remember to connect with the divine with the divine mind because when you do you are going to have that epiphany you are going to have important information coming up as if from nowhere and this important information is going to really help you to make the right decisions so if you are currently at a crossroad remember pause meditate put a diary a dream diary by the side of your bed write any dreams that you're having and then review them and then when you review them you're going to see that there are messages that are going to be there for you messages that you are going to understand and messages that are going to help you make that decision that we opened up this reading with so remember to release any anxiety and any fears that you have any decision that you're making don't make it from a standpoint of being afraid make this decision from a standpoint of being intuitive guided by the divine guided by your own guides and your own intuition and your dreams there's a lot of information that is going to be available to you to ensure that you make the right decision cancer and this is the reading that i have for you this week and as you are making your decisions i want to remind you that i've made the 2021 year readings the link is going to be in the description box below for you to go and watch and whatever it is that you are deciding i wish you all the best of luck it's a goodbye from me cancer